Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Makeup Shizzle. Um, it's been really, really popular, not as popular as I'd like, but I have been asked to do another couple of things. And I've also, I've got quite a few that people have asked me for, so I've got some backed up as well, um, so we can really kind of start this off. Okay, so today I'm going to use a product that are quite popular on the market at the moment, and they're these like eyeshadow pencils. I went into Boots uh, a few days ago, and I bought these eyeshadow pencils from Collection and they're called Work The Colour Eyeshadow Pencil and I've got them in four colours. I've got them in Vanilla Sky, which is kind of that colour, uh, Midnight Glam, which is like a black, I suppose. And then I've got a brownie coloured one called Hot Chocolate and a grey one as well called Gunmetal Glitz 2 all very posh loads and loads of companies are doing them now i know that clinique have got um chubby stick and they probably started the whole eyeshadow pencil thing really um rimmel have got their scandalized there's loads loads of them about but these were dirt cheap these are two pound fifty in boots and what i'm going to try and do with them is work out some kind of um smoky eye if i can it's the first time i've used them before i do that it's been a really, really stressful couple of weeks for me, a couple of days, so my skin is terrible at the moment. So I'm just going to start off with a little bit of moisturiser, and I'm using my faithful friend, the Nivea Soft one. And get it all nice and working again like it's meant to be. So that's all nice and moisturised now, and it feels a tonne better already. Um, okay and then i'm gonna go with this this is um nip and fab shine fix i think i've used this before it's a mattifying gel and i'm just gonna take that over my eyes and the tops of my cheekbones um i haven't done much research into nip and fab actually they're a little bit pricey but their products work really really well when they say they're gonna mat your skin they really do mat your skin when they say they're going to plump up your cheeks, they really do plump up your cheeks. So I don't know what kind of chemicals are involved to make those things happen, but it does happen. Okay, so we're a little bit more blurred up now, which is great. Okay, so concealer wise, I'm using um, something that I found in, in Spain. This is Catrice. I think this is like, um, it's like really similar to Maybelline, a lot cheaper. But a lot of their packaging and a lot of their kind of merchandising is very, very similar to Maybelline. So I, I've got a feeling it's the, the same foam. I'm going to go with the lightest colour there. And I'm just going over the eyelids just to, to work in some kind of base. I'm going to start with this grey one. It's kind of that colour and I, I would imagine it's got a certain amount of shimmer in it and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw it across the lid and blend it in. They go on really really nice. Once, you, once they're warmed up a little bit they go on really really nicely. And then I'm just going to blend that into the socket using my H&M blending brush or I, big eyeshadow brush it's called. Just going to soften the edges down so that we've got like that base colour. It's nice, it's a nice colour. I think it's not too dark, which then means the black will do its work, it will do the work that it's meant to do. But it's, it's nice as a base colour, I think. I like it, I don't know, what do you think? I'm going to go under the eye with it as well, but just from this kind of inner corner to halfway along, because then I'm going to take the black, I think, as well, and just smudge the two in. So then I'm going to use the black as well. Um, so I'm just going to go along the lash line. What you can do, if it's a little bit um, too hard to start off with if it's a brand new product just scribble it on your hand just to loosen it up a little bit and then we should be good to go there you go see so we're going right across the lash line right from the inner corner and right across 
and then up through the socket. And almost kind of joining up halfway across. So I'm just going to take the same brush again, it's got the grey on it anyway so it's not going to get, it's not going to bleed into that colour and, and soften through. Just work on that shape a little bit through there. And then underneath the eye, like I said before, we're just going to go quite deep underneath the eye, it's going to be quite a line and then you're going to, we're going to soften it. So it's quite a heavy, heavyish line. And then soften that through. And then the same on the other side. It's got quite a few like glittery bits. It's quite a sparkly, and quite sparkly pencils. So, so far, um, they seem really, really easy to work with. Really, really good for blending. Obviously, this is quite a nighttime party type smoky eye look. And you could go subtler. You could go a lot subtler with it, I think. I just don't like subtle. And like I said before, don't worry. If, look, it's not perfect around there, but because we're going to do the skin later on, you can always tidy that up and make that into a shape. Almost, almost force it into a shape, which I quite like. So I think we're looking pretty even. So what I'm going to do for under the eyebrows is just use this. This is um, Metallic Eyeshadow by Flormar and it's in the colour A002. It doesn't have a name. It's like a metallic white colour. And I've got my eyeshadow, my number seven eyeshadow colour brush or eye colour brush. Just kind of place that on underneath the eye. See, that's much better. Tiny, tiny little bit of colour. So obviously that looks really kind of stark. I want to warm it through a little bit, so I'm going to take my bronzer. This is a Rimmel Sun Shimmer Bronzing Compact Powder, and it's in light matte. It's a nice matte colour. So it's not going to be iridescent over your eyebrows. And I'm just going to go where that black line is. I'm just going to run it through there. And warm it up. Got a really nice shape on the top. Now we're going to work on a liner. Now I have the number 17 um, black gel eyeliner it's called smolder gel really really good i like it um and again because it's 17 it's um cheap kind of mid-range prices drugstore prices um and then on a real techniques uh fine liner brush i'm just going to go on top of the lash line just to define that out so where we've smudged and smoked our way through at the moment just need to give it a little bit of definition so I'm going to go from the inner corner really really tight to the lash line and the way to do it apparently is to go from the inner corner first to kind of three quarters of the way along and then from the outside corner in to meet that line. So you can flick if you want to. I'm gonna just do a little flick and then over to meet that line. Also, if you use a gel eyeliner, I fell into the trap of using an eyeshadow with water as a liner. And of course, if you do that, the, um, it transfers to your upper lid and it just looks a mess. Um, gel eyeliner tends not to do that. Now then, tight lining. 
um, something that is almost crucial. When you do a smoky eye, tight lining is almost crucial. And what that means is you're kind of taking your eyeliner, and you can use a gel eyeliner, underneath your eyelashes. So, ah, poke myself in the eye. So that that um, flesh colour can't be seen through your eyeshadow. Um, so, we'll give that a go too. quite like the bottom um, waterline left as it is I quite like that because that opens up my eyes um, on a smoky eye I think anyway with that white eyeshadow again I'm just going to take that through the center of the um, eyelid so that we're almost shimmering through can you just highlight that little bit there I think just because that gives a little bit of dimension okay so the foundation that I'm going to use is show good face by um, soap and glory smells um, smells all right it's not heavily scented like the Soap and Glory stuff is, which will mean that it won't irritate your nose or irritate your skin. And it's in the colour, the fairest of them all. Um, and we all know that Soap and Glory have crazy names for their products. But that's what it's called. Now, I've used this before and it, it made me look a little bit plasticky, so I need to use less of it. Um, it's one of those ones that's quite dewy. Real Techniques um, buffing brush. Um, yeah, it's quite... Um, dewy and you need to give it a good shake before you use it so that it all mixes together so yeah you have to you have to kind of really work this stuff in to stop it looking plasticky But it is nice, it does sit nicely, especially if you've moisturised before. It does sit really nicely. Okay, and then concealer, I'm going to go with that. Um, but I'm also going to use the pinky one to get rid of my dark circles. So the pinky one underneath. just to warm up that colour a bit and then the concealer to brighten the light one to brighten it up and this is what I mean when you can kind of create a shape afterwards you can really kind of drag that out and conceal underneath So I tend to go with concealer around my nose and down in my deep set wrinkles as well and up through this part because my wrinkles are terrible. For a lady of my age, I hate that my skin is wrinkling already. A nice light coverage on the cheeks but still it's given me a little bit of kind of paleness um, so we're going to put some colour back in. We're all going to powder. I'm using a sleek luminous pressed powder in um, which has got an SPF of 15 on it as well which will stop those wrinkles um, and it's in the colour 01 all of the colours of my product are like 01 because I'm so well I feel I'm such a pale skin maybe I'm getting it wrong um, it's quite a hard powder to get from the block but once you do it's quite a nice one because it's quite shimmery don't forget to um, set with the powder underneath your eyes as well okay so using that bronzer again I've then got a duo fibre real techniques contour brush um, and I'm going to attempt a bit of a contour so to find your where you should be contouring you want to go underneath your cheekbone so if you roll your brush down when you feel that recess 
that's where you put your contour line you don't put it on top that's for highlighting your contour line on your cheeks is um, in that little recess which was just there and you literally draw a line with your um, contour powder now I'm using this one because it's matte and it's not going to give off that shiny um, glow that some bronzers do have and I you, you know I do like a shiny bronzer a shimmery bronzer but not for contouring and something like a smoky eye needs a contour so you can see that that really kind of etches out those cheekbones and makes the top of them pop now you can contour underneath your jawbone as well. I've got quite a, I've got my dad's jaw. I've got quite a square set jaw, so it's it's quite nice, I think, to um, just um, play with that, bring out that shape, which is what your contouring will do. Contouring of the nose as well. I'm quite lucky in that I've got quite a skinny nose already, but if you to make it appear skinnier you would just go down the sides of the nose and dust that in. Also with your contour make sure that it's blended well and you can do it before you put your skin on, before you put your foundation on. Right there. So yeah that's kind of etched out those cheekbones a little bit so because I've got cheekbones on I'll just use the contour brush again. This is an accessorised blusher and it's in the colour Scandal. Now this is really shimmery and really pretty and really silky. Just on the cheeks. With my foundation brush. Okay, I know you're all screaming at me. Mascara, mascara. I'm not going to curl my lashes today. I'm just going to use this one instead. This is um, Maybelline Falsies Volume Express and I love it. If you like a thick mascara, this is definitely the one for you. I really, really rate the Maybelline mascaras. Love them. And then eyebrows with my Fashionista eyebrow palette and my um, Catrice eyebrow eyeliner brush is like that. My dark colour again. Now when I went on the website to find this the other day in my last video I couldn't find it but I know that you go into super drugs in um, Guildford because it's quite a big super drugs you'll find a lot in there fashionista wise and they do what MAC do where you can kind of pick your you pick your casing and then you pick four colours of eyeshadow that you want. There we are. All nice and filled in. And last but by no means least I'm going with quite a pale lip. As I said before when I do strong eyes I do like to do a, a palish lip. Um, so I've got uh, lasting finish 1000 kisses stay on lip contouring pencil from Rimmel and this is in cappuccino number 47 I'm going to bring out that cupid's bow a little bit which is this bit here and I'm just gonna mine's not very defined so I'm gonna make the definition the whole lip coloured in with this and then I have quite a different um, lipstick this is um, by Barry M and it is this kind of colour almost like a concealer colour um, and it is in colour 101 and I'm going to use a detailer brush Real Techniques detailer brush to paint that on now on its own this lipstick is like ridiculously pale. It would make you look like um, 
it would just look silly and your teeth look yellow but on top of a darker lip liner it's quite nice there you go much better much much better so there you have it that is um, a smoky eye using eyeshadow pencils two pound fifty in boots um, can't go wrong you really can't um, have a lovely day guys have a go at this put your pictures on makeup shizzle make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel that we're doing as well which is just Nat Cooper um, where you'll find this video um, like subscribe comment all of those kinds of things I'll see you again soon bye bye